morning YouTube, Dr. Sola. It is 6 18 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going to give you feedback on the Solar X triple power battery. So, we well, a little bit of background we had installed this last week, and the BMS or the rotary dial on the BMS was not allowing it to see this battery. So yesterday, I decided to twist that dial. I turned it 360 degrees, brought it back to zero, and then set it to one. And Eureka, this battery came on. So it went from showing 115 volts to showing 230 volts to indicate we had both batteries. Our BMS communication in between batteries is there. The battery cables are there. So, um, we didn't run the AC during the day. We wanted the battery to get to full charge. And what I noticed immediately was, you see those lights? The blinking light, actually blue, even though they look green. Um, the battery was charging rather slowly compared to what it was doing before. Before, in an hour and a half, you go from like 17% to 95%. And then it will get to 97% and wouldn't move. It would, stay, it would stay stuck there. And then during the night, you run fine. And then once you get to 60%, from 60% down, what, there was really no capacity. So what I felt was the BMS was stuck and it wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. But yesterday, it took its sweet time to charge. I mean, it took quite a long time. Um, we moved from 35%. 45%, 55%, till we got to 100%. And for the first time since we've owned these batteries, we saw 100%. So I'm psyched. Oh, by the way, this is your friendly reminder. If you're not subscribed, please click the subscribe button. So I've woken up this morning. Um, I, had the, I left the fridge on all through the night. The freezer, so let me show you. The freezer is on. The fridge, you can hear it humming. The lights are still on. By the way, um, that, those are those are wine bottles. Well, they're wine bottles, but it's not wine. Uh, you can see I have lights. The AC, I run it through the night. And let's start by, let me, by me showing you the indicate, indicator. So here, the lights you see that are about to flash, there are five of them, four of them, sorry. One, two, yep. And they go in 25% increment. So you can see that. So if all four lights are flashing, then it means I have more than 75% uh, capacity in my batteries. That's what it's saying. I don't think that's correct, but we'll find out in a second. But before I do that, so there is a non-profit in Australia that tested batteries and they received funding from the Australian government and I think some from private industries and they did these very extensive, extensive tests of batteries and I thank Doug he sent me the link but I'd already watched, I'd already read about it before what I did not know was that Solar X was included in that study the Solar X uh, triple power battery was included in that, part, in that study and what, um, you know how they rank uh, batteries based on performance. They look at um, the electronics, no problem with the electronics. They look at capacity and what they do is they do very aggressive cycling of these batteries. They cycle them three times a day over a period of one year or two years. I can't remember exactly but I know it's at least uh, 12 months. And the Solex battery performed very well. It didn't have any issues. Um, it did no electronics issues no sudden stoppage, it did what it was supposed to do. The only um, comment they made was that it lost capacity after 900 cycles. It lost some capacity after 900 cycles. But they attributed it to the fact that they do fast cycling. Um, the pylon tech battery did not, lose, did not have any capacity issues, so I'm not so sure if um, the fast cycling is a genuine reason. But these batteries are not designed to be discharged 100%, and that test, I think, they were discharging them 100%. So each time you discharge a battery 100%, and you're doing three times a day, you're going to lose some capacity. So, having said that, what do you think the percentage of my battery is? 
Let me take you to the screen. Touch. And what do you see? 92%. Yep. I have over 90% left. I think that's phantom. I think this, uh, the BMS has to cycle once or twice in order for us to get to the capacity. So what's happening is I think because there are two different batteries that had different capacities when we started this process, I suspect that the BMS is not calibrated yet. So after calibrating or after cycling once or twice, I'll be more comfortable with the battery state of charge. But if all I took it out was 8% since the sun went down, it's pretty impressive numbers. So here we go. Our uh, battery voltage is 229.5. Um, and we're taking 226 watts. That number never makes sense because it doesn't match my load. And the percentage is nine, the battery state of charge is 92%. So the battery so far is performing better than I expected. If 92% is correct, it's much better than I expected because normally by now, if I run all these things, the best I would see from my dynas will be about 40%. Normally it's 25 to 30% is the range I normally, I normally see. So for me to be showing 92%, that is mind blowing. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had subscribed, click the subscribe button. And this is Dr. Solar talking to you about the Solar X triple power battery. The night after.